Sell up pussy to heaven uh, How many, many pills like seven? Uh, less than that, bitch, I have it I don't pills like cause I have it You feel in love with a savage uh, Now my fault when he damaged uh, I feel in love with a savage You'll be better, make, make you savage. savage Feel so good, I'm in heaven uh, Cheating my bitch like never uh, I'll provide for my bitch Like in and, and out, out on her titty Alright Hope all y'all doing good I'm doing Normal as always. Um, camera is still a bit. No, not this. All right. Lost a follower and a listener. Well, well, hey, as always, shout out to Tallinn, Estonia. Shout out to Brisbane, Australia. Shout out to Mar Mardu, Estonia. Shout out to Tartu, Estonia. Shout out to Gehra, Estonia. <laughs> okay, a lot of Estonians, huh? Okay, then. Hey, right, shout out to everyone. Honestly, bro, Every, anything uh, helps. Yeah. But yeah, um, don't really have an, a lot of time anymore since with the whole, um, driving license things, I think I'm having, oh, I think I'm a, having my exam in Monday. I'm not sure. So I don't know. So I'm kind of getting ready for that. No, I am getting <laughs> ready for that. Hello. Hope you're doing good, Saban. Oh, Tizzo. Right, uh, the, um, the driving license, the, um, the test thingy? Not, not the driving. But, yeah. In, in Monday, it should be. So, I really don't have any times to... Don't really have time to make clips and edit and shit. But it is what it is. Still got time to post uh, me dancing to my music, so. Hey, at least we, we still got that. <clears throat> Didn't you just. Brug Burger. Hey, twelve hearts. I'll take it. That's a big W, especially for TikTok. Let's go, a hey, my guy. A hey, heart out for you, bro. You tried it, bro. This ain't for you, brother. If this ain't for me. Would I be doing this for six years? All right, bro. Bro has zero experience. But yeah, um, I have like a, a driving license exam thingy, but it's not the. Uh, yeah, I'm not actually driving. It's the um, the knowledge of the uh rules and shit. Double digit number. What? Okay, let's play truck sim. Like I got money for that. Alright, bro. I need a whole fucking wheel as well. Yeah, I'm good, bro. And I need a, a truck handle or whatever the fuck. Alright, brother.
I need a gas break and whatever the fuck. Yeah, I'm good, bro. Um. Look at that. Hey, Raj, though. Hope you. Oh, uh, how you doing? I don't know if I catch that. I'm doing normal as always, though. Stop getting washing machine ads. You can always, brother. That doesn't help. I still need the physical things. I need the gear shift. I need the fucking wheel. I need the fucking brake. I need the fucking gas. And I need the fucking, uh, whatever the fuck the third one is. Brother. It doesn't help me to use my fucking keyboard to drive. That ain't doing shit. You can all, yeah, clutch. There you go. Thank you. I'm learning in Estonian, so I don't really know in English. All right. Um, that's fine. Pirate the wheel and pedals. Yeah. Yeah, let me do that, bro. Like, what? Check Discord. Bro, can you watch your machine ads? Nice. What's that? There's no ads there, though. Yes, that's a fucking Xbox. Being treated as... Okay. I should probably add uh, Raj in the game whenever there's a new uh, Masaka. I added a few mods. Harvest when butchering, harvest everything. Gotta have that uh, Dubs paint shop. Gotta have that uh, in their rock walls and shit. Xbox to you. Yo, RimWorld. Make you OP. I am not using cheats. Uh, last episode, me and Spam got wounded. I don't know if we're gonna make it. Um, Bloodlust severe, bloodlust severe. Not looking good. I mean, Chemical is carrying uh, me, of course. And uh, Sabin is carrying spam. Maybe we'll make it at least. <laughs> okay. Not me though. I'm literally dying. Or spam. No, Sabin is carrying spam. Chemical is carrying me. Oh. No random mental states. And no random diseases. No thank you. I Sabin, uh, feed spam, no cheating, is this cheating, brother, enable random mental states, it has the word random, brother, random doesn't make any sense, enable random diseases, I randomly have like fucking Ebola, like what? Doesn't make sense. From this far away. Alright, fair enough. Cannot finish off. Hey, yo. Pause. <laughs> Wait. No, we got food. Chemical can't feed me? What? <coughs> I'm... I'm wounded. 
I'm not fully healed. Brag. Do the dead and make Raj what? The tree disabled children. Okay. Uh, you tend me and feed me, I guess. And can make all the sleeping. Can you build yourself a bed? No, we don't have wood. Uh, chemical is starving right now. Could you eat the simple meat? Damn, bro. Drink water already? I, I just drank water. Chop, chop, chop. Actually, you should be cooking. We need food. When does the corpse rot? One day. We're good. Chemical would be very upset if he could understand what you are saying. What? <gasps> Wait, I'm healed. Moderate. Spam is still in the bed. Hypothermy. Uh, 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 He'll be fine. It's only hypothermia. Uh, some three Italian guys, I uh, wanted us dead. Killed two of them, one of them escaped. It's only minus two Celsius, we'll be fine. Err, mm. uh, beggar single, seeking single. Huh? Alms. Err, uh, nice quests. <laughs> that is outdated merch, but all right. The fuck? Yeah, didn't you design my merch? <coughs> there you go, spam is fine. A little bit of hypothermia, that's fine. Marks is 21 merch, yeah. Nope, only me. What was the quality? Pretty good. Sabin needs to sleep though. Oh, I guess he's sleeping now. Should you exit or not? What? Do you need to do something? Nah. Starvation. Sabin, can you eat? There you go. <laughs> Straight to working. Bro just blacked out from not sleeping. Should you- Oh, exist. Yes, man. You should. I can't read, bro. <laughs> My bad. Mad squirrel. Read well today. I mean, that, that's every day. Brug burger. 
stopped reading books and um, now I can't read. Chop, chop, chop. Mmm, yummy. Dyslexic analyst. <laughs> Major deep pops. I don't think I'm dyslexic, but I man. Got nerfed in the last update. <laughs> no. That was fucked up. Where's the stupid scroll? Did he die? What? Talk about the stupid squirrel. It's beating the fuck out of spam. Are you fisting me right now? Oh yeah, Sabin doesn't have a fucking gun. Hi, right, Chemical, it's all you. Actually, Sabin, fuck it, go fist him. There you go, W Sabin. Rescue, rescue. Is it personally drivers from websites? Well, that. What? Give you a weapon? Yeah, I should. Spammy's gonna die in 13 hours because of that squirrel. Sabin, please. 10 spam. And uh, 10 me too. 11 hours. Actually, I'm gonna die earlier. <laughs> now we got it though, we got Sabin, right? After that, tend yourself. You hurt too. But would we'll die if he sneezes, okay. Spam is so weak. So I am, am I. You're exhausted. You're a hard worker, Sabin. Um, I'm literally about to die in 10 hours. Uh, could you please? <laughs> please? Thank you. I'm dying 13 hours. Chemical? Oh, you can tend. I thought Chemical couldn't tend. And we got an infection. Save spam has an infection. Great. Weapon after this. I mean, currently you're sleeping, so. But yeah, I'll definitely. How bad is the disease? Oh, it's frozen. Okay. Civ 7 I. Brock Burger. Being dry as his test. Imagine. Stay hydrated. I say, Ben, tend yourself. It's a realistic setup. That'd be cool.
Good job, Chemical. Starvation, uh, can you feed me, Chemical? Oh, thank you. Alright, Sabin, heal yourself and then grab a weapon. There we go. Display mana lords. Brother. It doesn't even matter because it's my day today. Brug Burger. And I don't even have the game. No storage. Roger's Mark Thursday. Yeah. Literally in the schedule. You're selfish. Well, womp womp. Sucks to suck. We need more wood. Why are you red? You're feeling depressed. Sabin is depressed. Alright. Oh, not anymore. Unhappy. Bro, put cave sound as my brother turned off the light in your room. Wait, what? How can he even reach to turn off the light? Sabin needs to just chill. Chemical, start to butcher. Yeah, Mark the. Yeah. Uh, we should. Paul. Say spam? No. That was up. Need more chat. I am reading chat, bro. Fuck yeah. All link should be actually be like yeah. more important Ooh. hostile first is spotted great like we wouldn't just attacked um what would Give your faction a name. What should our faction be called? And what should the settlement be called? What's the machine? I mean, Didology is mentals anyway. I guess. Might as well. Uh, but what should this place be called? Oh, Tismolia. Yeah. Sure. Faction known as Mentals and this community known as Autismola. Brug Burger. Autismolia settlement. <laughs> Faction Mentals. Sure. Save. 
call it Otizolino. Oh, Raj was first. It is what it is. Or second. I don't know. Yo. Damn. Man, I need to work more. Heal up faster, man. Stop slacking. Didn't you read what I said in Discord? You're sleeping. Well, you're supposed to be. Actual future sleeping place. It's safe. Brag. Wait, we need food. Tend. The fuck happened to spam while he was sleeping? Now nah, spam might actually die. He got an infection. <laughs> Spam's actually dying. He could die. <clears throat> My mod friend. So slow. Oh, chemical sleeping right next to spam. That's cute. <laughs> what are you doing? Hauling leather? Is one worth the monies? I'd say so. He has shit ton of mods as well. You know I love mods. Do the deed with corpse so it doesn't s <laughs> Okay, bro. Homer, top of the morning to your ladies and gentlemen. Subscribe to Mark Plaza. Nice, Homer. Yeah, subscribe to Mark Plaza. In camera. Yeah, please sounds like plus. I don't know how. But I... They don't have Homer. Do they have Bart? Medical emergency. Uh oh, spam. I can't do anything about it. Infection extreme. Looks like uh, spam is not going to make it. Should we cut off his left arm? To me, you'll force feed him beef to regenerate him. Should our lids blow 100k? That ain't that bad, what? I mean, there's a chance he can make, he can live. If it means he survives. I mean, I saved. We'll see if he dies. If he dies, I'll load back and cut it off. 50k. 
Yeah, below 100k is, is not that bad. Can you build the fucking bridge? Taking a long ass time. Spam died. Yeah, well, looks like the arm is gonna go. TTS, <laughs> can he do it? It's like 200 TTS only. Bro. Alright, spam. Imagine I cut off the wrong arm. <laughs> okay, left arm. Operation. We need herbal medicine. We have no herbal medicine. Um... Wait, this is herbal medicine. Send him to the border. Brag. Is that enough? To uh, left arm. What else could we do? How weak is spam that he gets? Uh, deadly infection and wound from a squirrel. <laughs> Maybe had rabies. I don't know. Know how angry squirrels are. <laughs> it happens, bro. If we install left hand. No, it's a hand. That's not an arm. Now, yeah, GG. I, Sabin, our best doctor. Start the operation. I'll save just in case, because the operation could fail. Appreciate the chemical. The infection was faster than you cutting off his arm. <laughs> the infection got it first. <laughs> Bro. Nah. Wait, we're cooked. Or spam is cooked. The infection got it first. <laughs> now go again. How does spam take Sabin or better me? What? You could load a little bit more back. It's not that much progress gone. Only one who can cook, true. Um. Nah, harvest.
harvest botched. Are you serious? The fuck happened here? Oh, it's a cold snap. Oh, snap. I'm sorry. Was that the only healing route? Bro. Guess I'll load back again. <laughs> that was the only healing route. Bro, what? Not when you're losing. If you get stuck. Brother. It's called save scumming. It's not cheating. Alright. Save. Don't fucking botch it. Learn from his mistakes. This is literally RNG. Fuck you mean my mistakes. Random fucking uh, scroll. Bit saving. Got infected. What do you mean? Yeah, I'm, I'm gonna learn from that. Okay. Couldn't do nothing. Spam was literally sleeping in his fucking bed. Harvest left. Amputate left on. Sabin 2. What do you mean Sabin 2? What? Left arm. Alright, uh, if this... If this is not enough time, well, GG. I tried. Save it. Oh. I meant to say spam. Man, you both have S in the beginning of the name, bro. Leave me be. Well, some things are not meant to be changed. I tried three times. RIP spam. Shorter than saving, I guess. I mean, yeah. More back in time, but like, you know what? Okay, before the scroll. Or Discord. Just cheat. Nah, bro. Now we got we got enough time to amputate his. Yeah, we're gonna do that. It is what it is. Amputate his head is crazy. Bro, <laughs> what? <sighs> Botched it. You botched it again? <sighs> okay, zero progression this so far. Can you not botch it?
get the fucking plants. You keep fucking it up. Get the plant, bro. There you go. You know what? I'm gonna save because that took way too much time. Spam is walking. Leave the walls. What? <laughs> Since now, I guess. I mean, it's not his leg that is fucked, it's his arm. Save my NI, C spam. Hi, Obama. Now, if that major turns into extreme, we gotta cut it off. Now I guess I let you be. I'm doing fine. Uh. You fucked up? What do you mean? Now infection, no, it's still spreading. Now we gotta cut it off. We gotta. Then we have no time again. I'd be to left arm. Time that Raj for zero seconds. Oh, wait, what? Yeah, cause bro, that was, that wasn't like. That was like 69%. Now it's 75. It keeps getting more infecting. Just modding is fucked. Hey, Manuel, hope you're doing good. Spam is about to lose his arm because the squirrel infected it. Yeah, it's 79 now. Hey. Okay, save, because you can fuck this shit up too. Complaining in Discord? Extreme, yeah, you see? It is getting worse. Now, let's see if you botch it or not. You failed. He will die in six hours. I mean, no, you cut it off, though. What? You cut it off. I mean, you unbanned Raj. No. Yeah. Remove ban on... You removed it. Health. There you go. Left arm cut off. 
No, no infection. But it said failed. That seems like a success. I don't know. <clears throat> I guess he thinks you didn't unban him. Oh, Minecraft. Alright. Any mods or just regular Minecraft? Oh, you were 17. Okay. It's so cold, man. It's supposed to get warmer. Nah, literally, uh, fuck all this shit. Nah, bro. You need to do this. Hey, Minecraft bedrock addiction. Addiction. Addition. You got PvP the extra pack? The bedrock kinda ass, but okay. I mean, you do you. Roach, what are you gonna say? Now he left? Oh well. Other cooks and players, they're mad at you. Okay. Do we have enough wood for. No, we don't have enough wood. Cut some fucking wood. We need to build a campfire for uh, heat. Campfire over here. Nice and warm. Now, I did that. Yo, who's she? Saving, we're gonna bed. Oh. Why is chemical hurt? Ha, ah, hypothermia. Tradition is ass, no mods. No shaders. It's a texture pack. Texture pack is not even a shader. Oh, chemical is down. Work on that. It's not that hard. Alright, bro. If you say so. Are we all dead? to hypothermia
saving kind of affection. On his left middle finger, very pacific. <laughs> Why the middle finger? Oh, another disease. Left ring finger, it's spreading. Chemical died, uh, Sabin died. Hypothermia. Hypothermia. Okay. <sighs> Shit to my ass. It got cold as fuck. Wait, no, let me load when, uh... Fuck, what was it? In here? Yeah. Oh, you know what? Spam is still useful. Crazy. i uh, work on that. I'm useful, I can work on that. Call me spam. No, I said spam. I didn't call you spam. Spam can be useful. He's walking. Brug burger. What can Sabin do? Um. You could just reinstall this to here. Talking to Raj, what? You better apologize twice. Oh, spam. <laughs> it did suck call you spam. <laughs> better hand the phone to his little brother. What? Okay, who needs a chemical? You can cut some wood. Alright. Alright, chemical. Work on a campfire. Oh, we need... We need to make it a room, right? I think so. Reinstall this shit over here. Uh, guess I'll have to do that. It's not banned, what? You're not a character, what? Oh, my little brother would ban Mark somehow. He taps anything he sees. Ping Raj. Raj isn't banned. Surely everything is gonna work out this time. It says ban linked account though. Linked account, that's why. Maybe you got IP ban. I don't know. Well, something happened. Unban all Raj. Yeah, I don't think I can do that. Is 
Set owner, we'll do chemical. So he's not banned. Interesting. Working on bed, they're working on campfire. Okay, okay, okay. I mean, while you still can move, you might as well do that. Come on, you too, chemical. Good shit, Sabin. What the fuck going on? I mean, spam is. Oh fuck. It's not banned anymore. Can we go? We have enough time. <laughs> hypothermia serious. Uh, surprising, I don't know hypothermia. Just do that. Thanks, spam. Charge up. Nine. Is that going down? No, it's going up because you're technically not indoors. Hope you're doing good, spam. so fast you got infection extreme you might die you died <coughs> <sighs> um Bro, we don't have enough time. It's either spam dies, uh, or uh, spam survives and we all get hypothermia and we all die together. It's either we die all from hypothermia or spam dies. Um, guess you have to right, focus on hypothermia. Let me die then. <laughs> it's so fish. Hauling limestone. Hauling. Exhaustion. Probably still die of hypothermia. Rest until healed. Can we 
Chemical. Chemical about to pass out. Rescue chemical. Rescue saving. Have to go, have a nice day. All right, Manuel. Peace out, appreciate being as always. Bro, we're so close. We got the whole campfire. All we need is this one more block now. Hold up. Yes, the cold is going away now. Extreme. I have, I'm afraid it's too late. Nice map. Thanks. map what the world no what you mean the actual game what Random fucking cold wave, cold snap, snap my whole shit in half. Like, bruh. Okay, the whole bullshit started in this fucking thing. Maybe we get more lucky and uh, spam and me don't get hurt that much. And then we can focus on building up that. Yeah? Yeah, let's do that. Okay. It all started from this bullshit. How about we get lucky this time? Right. <coughs> um, skill as well, but we're not skilled, so uh, for us it's luck. It can't base on skill. Can I 
just like that just Still cooked. No matter what spam gets cooked, I have no clue, bro. Just first, what? Mark, send me up for your driving school. Oh, okay. Have nothing to say. Welcome back, spam. Okay, this time I survived. Well, I'm not downed. But uh, spam is still downed. But he's gonna survive. Surely. Okay, but real shit. Bro, we need to work on the beds. First time. Oh, spam woke up. Good. Okay, this is going way more better. Way better than before. Okay, everyone is actually walking. They're not downed. Okay. You play games that do become boring to you immediately, and you do not quit. Um, thanks. So, the uh, um. I forgot the game. The Fallout game on your phone, Wasteland, right? Um, that doesn't. That's not boring. Oh, 
was just slow motion. It ain't when you realize you can be OP. Fair. Oh, let them let them be, bro. Play. I'm. They got real quiet because someone was there. <laughs> I can't want smoke, but I don't want human smoke. Countries with the poorest geography knowledge. Season 2 will come out. Come in also, you do get free cola, which is pretty good. W from developer who is solo. I'm making something to be only way to get with Ray I mean, true. Yeah, pay to win is ass. Top 10 countries with the yeah, poorest. USA, yeah. Canada is pretty dumb as well. UK3. Hmm. Huh. South Africa surprised you, I guess. Now, wouldn't like Italy surprise you? But I. got picked up <coughs> owner maybe <coughs> no that's a random person now nah, that's weird if you're a random person, why would you pick up a random cat you don't know? That's weird. Manual slot. Manual stream. <laughs> why are you promoting his stream? Make his day. I'll check it out to the links. Ooh, I've seen that one. Dumbass. Always remember safety first. 50% fake friend? What? Skill issues, yeah. on the job bro okay bro go back William scream hey yo I mean
the other one. What? Give me the other one. There's no other wood one. This one? Always remember safety first. This one. Oh. I mean, yeah. Uh, you know it's falling on you. The generation, their trauma. You done me a Gen Z trauma. Uh. Yeah, I'm not reading all that. Live footage of bro chasing me because I injected him with compound V. A uh, mix of heroin and cocaine. That's nasty. <laughs> Bro, what? Bro, watching these on the TikTok. Got run over. You might become a professional at China. <laughs> These eight dumb people. Oh, are. I'll be fine. Support, yeah. Okay, yeah, bro. Like, what? There's a little electric line behind you, or whatever that is. Did you ever think about what might happen if you met Codsworth only after finishing Fallout 4? Curious about this, I played through the entire game without ever speaking to Codsworth. Eventually, I reached the final mission where I made my way into the Institute and had one last conversation with my son. You've doomed humanity. You know that. there's nothing more to say. I'll see you in hell. After that, I headed to the reactor, planted the explosives, and used the teleporter to reach a safe distance. With a single press, I detonated the Institute, taking my son with it. Finally, I went to see Codsworth for the very first time. And here's what happened next. As I live and breathe, oh, it's, it's really you. And I see you've taken up a new look. I take it the missus approves. Where is the wife, by the way? She's in a better place. Heavens no. Such a tragedy. Uh, and young Sean, what of your son? He's with his what? mother. Sir, this news, I never imagined our reunion to be quite like this. Pretty much the same. Did you ever think about what my... Or all that for just that. Leave him alone, bro. Motherfuckers don't mean 
money, bitch, and I don't know what the fuck to do. Let him man. intro though but that's new not beefing Again. Well, well, well. What? Wait, what? That cat just sang? What? That's how it. Different clips. Now nah, that was a added mouse singing. Manual cooking up. <clears throat> oh yeah, I did that. I accidentally just skipped it. Now back to day two. Wait. I accidentally disappointed Golden Ramsey. He's going to fire me. <laughs> Wait. Hold up. We got another order here. Okay, big zoom in for real quick. Hold on. Let me do this on a W stream. <laughs> okay, waypoint. Was not expecting uh, him to sound like that. What is it? Oh yeah, I am big cook in the building. I ain't gonna make it. Mm -mm, I'm lying. <laughs> we grab a square plate here. You know what? We're gonna pour something on the floor because we don't care about it. Uh huh. Time to rotate. Half rated him, yeah. I should rate him though. Yep, yeah, we pour everything on the floor. Rotate everything on floors. We making big messes. Bro got the cum floor. No lie, I do sound like that guy for me. He not even looking at chat. Aye. <laughs> little Tiz won't say it's come on the floor. Nah, bro. <laughs> nah, little Tiz won't say <laughs> Nah. Yo. No, uh, you see... It's, 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 it's water. <laughs> yeah, I'm cooked. <laughs> hey, W manual though. <laughs> Come on the floor, bro. All right. W Roach for uh, linking uh, manual. That was actually interesting.
Alright. You can speak English, but not type in English. Yeah, that's interesting. Because, yeah, his words were like... You know exactly what he's saying, but... Yeah, the typing is, uh... Typing is cooked. Hey. I forgot his English lessons at home. Yeah. I'm back. Welcome back. Alright, can we actually do this shit? Not get hypothermia and die. Gonna get more links. Alright, man. Should have followed manual earlier. But hey, it is what it is. Campfire. It is BBA. You mean BBL? What is a BBA? What? How is it a BBA? I mean, okay. Wake <laughs> the fuck up. You're right. I gotta wake the fuck up. <sighs> Hunting a rat. Fuck you hunting a rat for we got yaks. Whatever, bro. Resting. You do need to sleep. <coughs> Consuming. Oh, chemicals. Pretty bad. Damn, everyone needs to sleep except me. And I'm resting. Yeah, I shouldn't be resting. Work on that. Uh, do we need to tend? No. No, don't work on the wall. Chemical, what are you? Cook at least, bro. We need food. Focus on that. We got chemical cooking. Saban is resting, he needs to rest. Actually, you can wake up now. And we need someone to chop uh, wood. Fuck it, spam. fell over. Um, can you not help chemical? Uh, oh no, he's just sleepy. Oh. I thought he got cooked. 
He's just sleeping. The squirrel is back. Um, saving chemical, try to kill the squirrel. to put save in, in there because chemical already hurt but you're fine just a little scroll nibble attend yourself okay scroll is dealt with we do need food but like we gotta focus on the hypothermia. It even became. It's even worse. GG. Okay, Michael, can you work on this shit? I need to work on that too. Sabin, you need to cook. I'm fully healed. Uh, I think I was good at doing that. Work on the bed. Maybe when you are also, you can't believe iron was beautiful before. Revolution, oh. Why it got ugly. Uh, what's happening to chemical? Feeling depressed. Okay, everyone got bed. Oh, the revolution. Now, like, what did I do? What? Oh, back to Stone Age. Oh. Once, once a little piece of the West inside the Middle East. Iran has suffered some of the most significant changes for a country in recent history. This is Iran, before and after the Islamic Revolution. Culture. Before the Islamic Revolution, Iran was a very... <laughs> was defending Iran and Hamas is hilarious today. ...different world. The country <laughs> underwent an aggressive modernization program called the White Revolution, which led to rapid westernization. In this period, citizens could enjoy some degree of cultural freedom, mainly because of Western influence. Women and men mixed freely. There was a cosmopolitan lifestyle in the main cities. The world was in awe of Iran's rapid development. However, not hmm. everyone was satisfied with the White Revolution. It was imposed. Any group that disagreed with the Shah, which means king in Persian, could be oppressed, okay. tortured, and even killed by the Savak secret police. General unhappiness was growing with the regime's luxuries corruption, and jet-set lifestyle. There were also rising concerns about Western power's influence on Iran's government, mainly the US and the UK. All this led to social anti-government demonstrations that, when met with brutal repression, quickly escalated into the Islamic Revolution. Right after the revolution, and successfully overthrowing the monarchy, the country adopted an anti-Western mindset. For the past 40 years, hardline political and religious conservatives have grown paranoid of Western influence and, as a result, have cracked down on people they perceive Skill to be issue. enemies of the state. The Sharia Just is the law that king. dictates the code of conduct under a conservative Islamic ideology. Even the moral police patrol the streets enforcing Islamic moral codes of dress police. and behavior. 
In many ways, freedom of expression has hardly improved. In fact, the overall feeling is that class character in Iranian society has remained unchanged, with one ruling class replaced by another. Nowadays, instead of the Shah's ruling class, the sons of the revolution's leaders and the business class that works within the regime's rules flaunt their wealth by driving luxury sports cars around Tehran and yeah, posting corruption. on social media about their jet-set lifestyle. In contrast, the poor and the middle class still struggle to survive. Nevertheless, younger generations constantly aim for more freedom, mainly thanks to the internet. And many experts, including less conservative clerics, expect drastic social changes in the next 10 years. Education. Before the revolution, when the Shah was in power, schools in Iran began to modernize their ways of teaching. Moving away from the religious focus, the government chose secular education in which students... You see, religion fucking up everything. Atheism, number one. Students will learn <laughs> skills stop. applicable to jobs in science, teaching, and management. Despite the Shah's efforts to offer a mandatory westernized education, <laughs> many families would not send their children to these modern public schools, <laughs> which were inspired by the French system. This new education system was a mix between modernization and nationalism, as it glorified elements from the pre-Islamic Persian culture. During this era, many institutes of higher education were established. While the Shah encouraged women to attend higher education, there was a division among intellectuals, and they ultimately decided that they would let women attend only to learn all things related to the household. According to That's the World Bank crazy. and the Statistical Center of Iran, in the late 1970s, before the revolution, there was a 36.5% literacy rate. With they can learn how to be a better housewife. With a 23.4% gender gap, more than 60% of women were illiterate, and the female enrollment rate Damn. in tertiary education was only 4%. Since the Islamic Revolution, the government brought religion back to all schools, removing the secular aspect that the Shah imposed and it was immediately involved in three major efforts. Purging courses and textbooks believed to slander Islam, removing teachers to ensure that only those who were not secular remained at the schools, regulating the behavior and dress of students. This resulted in boys and girls being separated in different institutions, girls being forced to wear hijabs, and most of the westernized education being scrapped out of the curriculum. Attendance in schools grew considerably, and the government redirected the Shah's previous efforts to educate rural areas, now under a completely different ideology. As a result, in the past 40 years, education and up. literacy rates have improved dramatically. By 2016, there was an 86% literacy rate. Gender gap was reduced to 9%. Less than 15% of women were illiterate, and the female enrollment rate in tertiary education was over 66%. Nowadays, more than 60% of university students are female, and the urban-rural gap in literacy went from 35% before the revolution to only 12%. Even though huh. the improvement for women has been more significant than for men, women's education. I know the uh, wake the fuck up, uh, samurai, from cyberpunk. Education is far from being an easy road. The policies toward the education of women have experienced many changes since the Islamic Revolution. For example, right after it happened, in the subsequent Islamic Cultural Revolution, which consisted of the complete opposite of the White Revolution. Women were barred from most study fields and were only allowed to study 91 out of 169 available majors. Still, after Iran's war with Iraq in the late 1980s, educated women were needed to rebuild the country and all I'm restrictions sure. were lifted. And finally, since 2005, women's access to academic majors has been limited once again. And the government basically allows each university to impose its own restrictions based on gender. This topic inevitably leads us to the most controversial aspect of the Islamic Revolution. Women's rights. Historically uh -oh. in Iran, women's rights have been severely restricted compared to those in most developed nations. They change according to the form of government ruling the country, and mandates for women's rights have affected a broad range of issues, from dress codes to voting rights. Okay. For many centuries, women were isolated. They weren't engaged in politics, and their economic contribution was limited to household work. Those who worked in textiles during this period earned an average of one-third of what men did, and it was still possible for rural girls to be sold by the heads of their families. These conditions changed during the Pahlavi dynasty that ruled the country slavery. from 1925 till the Islamic what? Revolution in 1979. The Shahs introduced many Selling reforms your concerning is crazy. women's rights in this period. One example of an early reform, the Kashf-i-Hijab, 
or The Forced Unveiling of Women, introduced in 1936. As the name suggests, it involved the police pulling the hijab away, even from religious women. What's more, inspired by the westernization that was taking place I mean, in yeah. Turkey at that time, Sadly. the Shah increased women's participation in the economy and society. As literacy levels improved, women began to acquire high official positions, such as ministers and judges, hmm. while others emerged as artists, scientists, and athletes. In 1963, the Shah granted women voting rights. In 1967, the Iranian family law was reformed, improving the position of women in Iranian society. It allowed a wife to initiate divorce and required the first wife's permission for a husband to take a second wife. It also raised the minimum age at which a female could marry from 13 to 15 in 1967 and hmm. 18 in 1975. All these efforts were established through the Shah's wishes for Iran to become a more modern, European-style country. However, after the Islamic Revolution, these freedoms were retracted, even when women were crucial to its success. Since 1979, women's rights have been restricted through several laws such as the introduction of mandatory hijab and a public dress code. By 2022, only 5.59% of members of the parliament are women. Today, they're allowed to drive, hold public office, attend university, and to vote. But when in public, all hair and skin except the face and hands must be covered yeah and that's not crazy a job in public can be punished by law according that to the sharia insane. law women inherit half of what a man would and compensation for the death of a woman is half as well also most areas of the country are segregated yeah. by sex meaning that males are prohibited of viewing females and age of consent laws do not exist as all sexual yeah age of consent doesn't exist that's insane. Bro. Activity outside marriage is illegal. Women are also banned from dancing with anyone different from their family and even to sing in public. Most of the wow. rights provided under the White Revolution have been taken away, including the family protection laws, banning contraception, and lowering <laughs> the minimum marriage the age to 13 and even nine Bro. in some cases. Iran ranks 125 uh, out of 170 of countries in the Women, Peace and Security Index. In 2020, it held the world record in Chris. domestic violence against women. And in 2019, a state-run newspaper revealed that an average 375 to 450 honor killings are recorded in Iran each year. The situation is tense mainly because the Islamic system, being widely patriarchal, has proven unable to protect women. In September 2022, a new wave of women-led anti-government protests erupted in the country after the killing of Masa Amini, who was beaten up by the police for not wearing her hijab correctly and died three days later because of her injuries. By the time of making this- Beaten to death for not wearing hijab is crazy. Okay. This video, many experts suggest that this may mark the birth of a new and long-awaited revolution. Economy. The economy was one of the main factors that ignited the Islamic Revolution. Unequal distribution of oil wealth in the 1970s harmed the Iranian middle class and rural poor while benefiting the elite. In addition, the White Revolution mainly focused on the cities, worsening the gap between what? rural and urban areas. In the 1970s, the poverty rate was around 25%. And Iran's nominal GDP in 1979 was around $90.32 billion. In this decade, over 90% of Iran's GDP depended on oil and gas. And given that Iran's top trading partners were Japan, the United States, Russia, Germany, no? France, and the UK, huh. Iran's currency was strong. As an example, in March 1978, Good. one US dollar was equal to 71.46 huh. rials. On the other hand, after the revolution, Iran has indeed experienced pro- I mean, I assume they're probably male, right? There's no way a, a woman would want that. Progress. The shift from sh- Oh, well, that's extremely dumb. I mean, yeah, there are dumb people. I, but like, what I meant to say was like most people are probably me men, yeah, who want that. Shah's pro-urban, elite-centered policies to a pro-rural and populist approach included expanding infrastructure and essential services such as electricity and clean water to the countryside. As a result, the poverty rate dropped less than 10% in 2014, and by 20. 
Girls aren't allowed with so many shits. But showing shits. I mean, it's school. I mean, yeah. School is not meant to be fucking. 21. You're not meant to be horny in school, bro. That's why those rules exist. That's why uh, girls can't show their cleavage. But crazy why leave a country and demand same ideas. You just stupid. I mean, you leave country, you're not even in that country. Iran's nominal GDP was over $231 billion. Iran's economy has become more diversified as well. UK. According to the central bank, in 2022, the country's GDP is composed of 50% services, 32% of industry and mining, 13% of agriculture, and only 5% of oil. However, despite its small size, oil remains a critical source of foreign exchange and government revenue. The anti-Western mindset can be evidenced in the impact on Iran's top commercial allies. In How many 2019, left? Uh, like three, but we got more links though. Its top trading partners were China, the United Arab Emirates, India, Turkey, and Brazil. Even though the economy has managed to grow, Iran's currency has plummeted since the revolution. In June 2022, for example, one U.S. dollar was equal to 42,456 Iranian rials. Of course, we can't ignore the U.S. sanctions. However, according to Tehran's Alame Tabatabai University economists, only 15% of Iran's economic problems can be attributed to them. Experts suggest that state domination of the commanding areas of the economy, such as the oil and gas sectors, large industries, and the banking system discourages private investment, affecting the country's performance. Even though the gap between urban and rural areas has closed significantly, yeah. there's a strong public perception of high We've income inequality that, along with the country's incapacity to absorb the hundreds of thousands of university graduates, Changes Iran, which is W, because there are crazy people who want to kill. Yeah. Has produced a middle class poor social class. Moreover, according to the 2016 census for men and women between 25 and 29, unemployment rates are at 34.6% and 45.7% respectively. High unemployment rates for educated youth suggest deeper problems with the Islamic Republic's economic growth model. Politics. From a political point of view, Iran can be considered one of the most bizarre countries in the world. Today, the Islamic Republic's political system is thought of as a religious tyranny or malocracy. Religion. Iran was an absolute monarchy with a centuries-long history before 1906. Then, from 1906 to 1979, it became a constitutional monarchy with a parliamentary system under the 1906 Persian Constitution, the first in Iran's history. The Shah was the head of the state, while the prime minister was the head of the government. In 1953, the, uh... amid a power struggle between Mohammad Reza Shah and Prime Minister Mohammad Mossadegh, the CIA and MI6 orchestrated a coup against Mossadegh's government, reinstating the Shah, who ruled tightly with the support of the US and the UK. After the Islamic Revolution, the people of Iran adopted a new constitution that established the Islamic Republic of Iran and officially ended the monarchy. In this new political system, Iran adopted a parliament and modern political institutions like the presidency and a constitution, just like any other democratic republic. Still, okay. on the other hand, it also established a supreme leader, an omnipotent figure who controls everything in the country, the economy, the armed forces, environment, foreign policy, education, national planning, intelligence, defense, and even the multi-billion dollar government account. The Supreme Leader is appointed by the Assembly of Experts, which consists of 80 to 90 members elected by popular vote who review the Supreme Leader's performance to decide whether to extend or cancel his term. Though the funny thing is it has been deemed illegal to supervise the activities of the Supreme Leader. Then comes the Guardian Council, composed of 12 members, six experts on Islamist theology, chosen by the Supreme Leader, and six experts on constitutional law, who must approve mm. the laws consented by the parliament, monitor elections, and review candidates for elected offices, including the president. Unlike other countries, the president isn't the leading power figure. In Bro is not queso. You hate a car. In fact, right. even if he wins the elections, he still needs to gain the Supreme Leader's approval before being sworn in. 
This political system may explain why Iran scored lower than Saudi Arabia in the 2021 Democracy Index. That's everything for today. We'll see you in the next video. And don't forget to stay curious. What do you mean by that? That was interesting, though. Stay curious, though. Two poop was pretty much one. Ah, uh, bo. Your mother. Okay. Wait, how? That looks cool though. It's a Fallout 4 mod. That's crazy. The Mr. Beast allegations keep getting worse and they're doesn't seem to be yeah. an end. So we're just gonna go over everything that's gone down in the past two weeks since my last video, including some Maybe. very serious- I had no clue they had Mandis mod. New allegations regarding feastables. So last time everyone was concerned with the allegation that Mr. Beast hired a registered offender uh, and this gets Delaware even worse as a contestant in his video victim age 11, which is horrible. Since then, Jake the Viking confirmed in a tweet that Delaware is indeed his brother-in-law and a registered offender and was part of the Mr. Beast video and claims that Jimmy and his mom also knew about this and allowed it to happen. Uh. Now, if you thought that that was the only criminal that Jimmy was associated with, Rosanna nope. Pancino tweeted out, I've received confirmation from five verified contestants that for the first round of Beast Games, a man named Armani was allowed to compete. He was previously charged with at least 20 counts for battery, kidnapping, pandering or pinning, and robbery. He pled guilty to the pimping charge, acknowledging yeah, the significant things, evidence true. against him. He allegedly also slept near female One. contestants before being kicked off set for inappropriate behavior. Some of the female contestants confirmed being very uncomfortable around him. He's also friends with Jake Paul and other influencers. Why was of there course, not Jake adequate Paul. background checks to catch people like this? And there's a picture of Armani. Yikes, I don't think they took time for background checks. Good lord, my god, Mr. Beast, what else are you hiding? Now, obviously, this is really concerning if That's it is true all because asking. you can't have criminals of this degree participating in your challenges, especially allowing them to sleep near female contestants when they might be uncomfortable. That is mm. obviously a recipe for disaster, and Jimmy needs to conduct better background checks to avoid situations like this. 
this. And Rosanna follows up by saying he has changed his appearance since being in jail. No, nah, it was Logan Paul who had the prime thing, but... Eston said whatever. they believe he was in the green team in the group Both challenge. Bad. Multiple people have told me he allegedly received a lot of camera time and was to be part of the story. Here we got the alleged change in appearance. I mean, at this point, Jimmy has to respond to this. That is allegedly two criminals that we now know of. Buddy. Nothing I'm 21. Be certain, except death and taxes. I'm paying taxes. I mean, there's plenty of people who would that take was a part joke. in a Mr. Beast video gladly with great personalities. I don't know why they feel the need to scoop the bottom of the barrel with contestants and settle for actual criminals. That is just insane to me. Now, Rosanna also says in this tweet that they're basically messing with the outcomes of the Beast Games rounds. I received confirmation from at least 10 Beast Games contestants. The production has been calling some people this week and telling them they are now kicked off the show and no longer allowed to compete. This appears to be a fairly large amount of people these are people who made it to the next round of Beast Games and were set to fly to the next shoot in Canada. I'm waiting for additional confirmation, but it appears that production is allegedly also calling people who were eliminated in the first round and inviting them back onto the show. Oh, production wow. has so far refused to give a reason, but the most common theory I'm hearing is that it was because of psych evaluation given to contestants after the first round. In my opinion, they either did a psych evaluation of contestants too late, or they're playing favoritism with specific contestants. Either way, it is really concerning. Now, some people are saying this could be favoritism, or maybe they're just kicking out cheaters and giving back chances to people who got cheated out of a win. Honestly, personally, I feel like changing results after the fact is always lame and it should be monitored in real yeah. time so people know exactly what happened and it's more well, fair. Why not just get completely new people? Regarding that. Now, Rosanna also made a very concerning tweet. I've heard rumors from people working close with Mr. Beast that he's hiring PIs to investigate those speaking up against him. Uh -huh. Thank you to the people who reached out to warn me and others. I now have confirmation from several people that individuals are PDF files? Indeed being offered money to fabricate stories about me and others. I have identified some of these people already. They began harassing my friends as of last weekend. I'm keeping all of the receipts. Okay, obviously, if that's true, that is really concerning. Fabricating stories about people is never okay. Personally, I'd like to believe Mr. Beast is not a part of this and somebody under him is taking it upon themselves to do something sinister. But the fact that she's saying people are being offered money to fabricate stuff is incredibly concerning. Now, before you ask, none of my friends have been contacted yet, all right? And I'd like to keep it that way, all right? I uh, have got yeah. lawyers, all right, just in case. There. We got the squad ready. But personally, I'm just reporting the news and stating my opinion. So not really making any accusations myself. So yeah. it should be good. But yeah, hypothetically, if it's true, Stay away from my friends and family, bro. That's some super villain shit. Anyways, moving on to Feastables. Feastables. Big disclaimer. This next allegation is super serious, all right? I cannot confirm any of its legitimacy. I encourage everyone to do their own research and come to their own conclusions. That being said, YouTuber Healthy Honesty candy. made yet another allegation against Mr. Beast, saying he's potentially using child labor or slave labor for oh. his chocolate, which is incredibly concerning everything in this video is alleged <laughs> and uh the conclusions are my own opinion like many other industries chocolate Allegedly. is notorious for its exploitation of children using child labor and slave labor they use child labor forced labor unsafe conditions to farm yeah these um what was that oh we learned it from yeah from moon what was it, uh, Nestle? Something like that. Cow beans that eventually makes its way to become chocolates at your table. With that being said, I'm gonna try to prove my first point, that Mr. Beast is using child labor and slave labor for his chocolates today and has been yeah. since late 2023. When Feastables first launched in January of 2022, if you went into their FAQ, their Frequently Asked Questions section, they proudly displayed that they were child labor free and slave labor free. As a matter of fact, in April of 2023, they doubled down and they added to their list of main menu options, this option that said, we're free. And if you clicked it, it had an entire dedicated page talking about how they were free of slave labor and child labor. But just a few months later in October of 2023, that main page item that said, we're 
free, that was removed. Hmm. In addition, in the frequently asked questions section, that stuff about being child labor free and slave labor free, that stuff also disappeared. Uh, Later in May of 2024, and even to this huh? day, there's no mention whatsoever at all about any kind of ethical sourcing of ingredients. If nah, you're thinking, oh, it's a mistake, or maybe they forgot, I think the chances of this being true are less than 0.001%. You see, no. Mr. Beast prides himself on hiring the best of the best, and there is no way marketers would forget to put this kind of information on their website because it would boost their brand favorability in the eyes of consumers. It's likely then that Mr. Beast is now using child labor and forced labor for Feastables chocolates. This is especially bad because it means that Mr. Beast and the Feastables team were very aware that child labor and forced labor slavery yeah. exist in the chocolate industry and yet decided to take advantage to of the most weak and the vulnerable among us for personal gain. This is a oh bad gosh. look for any company but it's worse for Mr. Beast because he puts on these large public displays of being a philanthropist and a role yeah. model to young children. Okay, if all that is true, that is absolutely sickening. I don't know how it keeps getting worse. I know there's a meme that there's no good billionaires and stuff, but I'm starting to understand what it true. actually takes to get uber rich. That'd Somewhere down the line, it seems something sinister happens where you might potentially have to sacrifice morals for more You're money. Expecting? And yeah, based on what he said, that is some extremely nah. shady behavior. Removing labels like that is extremely concerning because then you're allowing people to speculate like this and they're gonna assume the worst intentions. Now, honestly goes on to say that in his opinion, Mr. Beast actually knew about this and planned it this way, which is another insane allegation. I think Mr. Beast knew the entire time since the beginning of Feastables that he was going to use child labor and slave labor for his chocolates, but he tried to trick us into thinking otherwise. To try and prove my point, I'm gonna first talk about the Feastables packaging, and then I'm gonna talk about the kosher and halal certifications. When Mr. Beast first launched halal. Feastables, it was in line with his brand. They were clearly trying to do things ethically. They actually got a certification from the Rainforest Alliance. Once you are certified, you're able to use their logo, which is a oh. little frog, on all of your products, your website, on all oh, of that stuff. Oh, that frog tells you, that's like 100% uh, not, uh, no slave labor, child labor. When I saw the packaging for Feastables, both old and new. Gotta look for that frog label. Bro, I'm not a woman. There was no Rainforest Alliance certified logo anywhere. If you one day that package has a frog logo on it and the next day it disappears, people will what? notice. So instead, they decide to only put it on their website because at the end of the day, who the hell reads a website except for weirdos like me? By doing it this way, I think they tried to fool everyone into thinking that their chocolate is still child labor free and slave labor free. Okay, listen, I'm not gonna speculate on Mr. Beast's intentions because I don't know what is going on in his head, obviously. But the facts that he presented of removing those labels and refusing yeah. to put that little logo on the chocolate bar, that is some concerning stuff. So At this point, Mr. Beast is gonna have to wait that? that little logo on the chocolate bar. That is some... There are still allegations and assuming his intent though through personally I'm oh though personally I'm not gonna say this was his plan all along but removing ethic ethic Ethical labels is strange. Some concerning stuff. At this read. point, Mr. Beast is going to have to wait until the end of the earth to respond because he said he's only going to respond after all the allegations are made. <laughs> the policy I lost my human rights. Yeah. In one final response. So, I don't know. More and more keep coming out, man. Now we move on to Mr. Beast's apology. Basically, you guys remember Jake Weddle. He was the contestant in one of Mr. Beast's challenges where he had to stay in solitary confinement. Forbore, and he claimed to basically be tortured, not allowed to sleep because of lights were on the entire yeah. time he was made to run a marathon with no training lots of brutal stuff and pressure to stay in the challenge now turns out mr beast Same. actually reached out to jake weddle apologized and offered him about 200k as the remaining money that he would have won if he completed the challenge here's a clip he said hey i wanted to reach out and say i didn't mean to cause you mental stress with that video and i apologize clearly it had an effect on you you mentioned you like to be paid out the rest of the prize money 
the other $190,000. And I'd love to make things right with you. I have zero expectation of you Don't mentioning me, it. sending you this money publicly, or taking down any videos. This is just me wanting to help you out and make sure you're good. I just need to know if you still have the same bank or not. We'll send you the money on Monday. Wish you the best. You know, there was no lawyers around. It wasn't a spectacle. There was no camera in my face. I respected that. That's how I would have wanted it to go down. But I, I, couldn't, I couldn't take it. Oh, wow. I, 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 couldn't, I couldn't take 100. And I, That's I'm a lot of money, it. though. Because it, it's still a mechanism of the game. It's still like the rest of the prize money. That's not what it was about. Would you like $190,000? Oh, um, ugh. That's the thing. I know, I know. I, I don't want you to think that you got to take any videos down. Uh, I don't want you to think you're... I, okay, don't, I don't, you don't have to post anything because I don't want it to look like I'm buying you out or you're being silent. I want you to keep doing what you're doing. This is just for me to you to make things yeah, right. Yeah, I, I, I respect that. I, I appreciate that. But, but you know how it looks, you know, for you to, to give me this cash that I desperately need, right? You know, I don't, I don't want, I want, my, I want my audience to trust me here. You desperately need, but you didn't take it. Then you don't need it. What? You know, I want, I want to remain credible. Yeah, yeah, know? yeah, totally. So, so I can, you don't even, have, don't even like post about it. I'll just, don't worry about it. Just take this cash. I just don't uh, counter offer. Fifty. You, you save a hundred and forty thousand dollars. You just give me fifty. Okay, it's good that Mr. Beast huh? is trying to make things right. Now, some would say it's a PR move, and he knew <clears throat> that Jake would talk about it. But regardless, that is the least he could do, is to compensate Jake and issue an apology. As for Jake, he accepted only uh, 50k of that there? money, and he denied the rest, claiming that he wants to make his own money from now on. Now, that's completely fine, but uh, one thing I didn't like about Jake Weddle's presentation here is his title and thumbnail. It says, I caught Jimmy in a Brad secret Berger. recording, and the video Brad starts Berger. off with a fake AI video of Mr. Beast talking. That's right. I got that sent to me, and you know what? That was AI. Yeah. Yeah, that was, uh, that was AI. And he knew this recording was fake as well, so it's just a weird thing to do. I really encourage yeah. anyone who comes out with a Mr. Beast story to be That's more weird. careful about what you say or do, because genuine advice, you can- At least he said it was AI. Lose public favor very quickly. Now moving on to a guy called Ty Orr. This guy made two videos on Mr. Beast calling him a thief and a liar. Basically, this is someone who is trying to be on Mr. Beast's idea team. He claims that Mr. Beast stole his idea and did not pay him for it. Now oh. the idea in question is the sort of floating platforms for a challenge video, and then he got a bunch of obstacles, similar to the game Fall Guys. Now, is it a unique idea? Personally, no. I think it's plausible that someone from the Mr. Beast team also came up with that, and it's also plausible that they didn't, and they actually did steal Ty's idea. Really now, Mr. Beast unique. team responded with a message showing that they already had a similar idea. I mean, they're like other shows and shit, like Wipeout, for example. Like, there's so much other uh, shit. So, take that as you will. Now, I feel like if you have someone apply for a job and go physically to your location and do some work, I feel like you should compensate them just a little, even if they didn't actually get the job or, or do a good job. But the problem is, Tyor's intentions are in question now, because initially, when he uploaded the video, he linked a GoFundMe for $1.7 million. Uh -huh. He has since taken it down after a severe backlash and apologized in a comment refunding the money. Last I checked, despite getting 2.5 million views, he only got like 20 donors and about 400 bucks. Who Maybe does more, I don't me? know. But this is not a noble move. This is the bare minimum after pulling uh, a scam like money that. Back. There is no reason the public needs to pay you 1.7 million for an idea that is ridiculous. Even if Mr. Beast wants to compensate you, an idea like that, which is literally just Fall Guys the game, let's be honest, is worth maybe $1,000, maximum like super generous $50,000 for that idea. And you should ask that compensation from Mr. Beast, not the general public who is already struggling to get by. Now, in his second video, what? he alleges that Mr. Beast just gets free labor. What if he got the money? Would he return it? But he returned it. What? from people by asking them to apply for a non-existent job which again i can't confirm but uh he says he won't apologize for the gofundme anymore but he already said sorry oh. in a comment i don't know i feel for him if it's true but i can't excuse Good clown question. behavior all right now moving on to oh, wow. mr b's girlfriend half the things that are said are not true i wouldn't be with him if they were mr b's girlfriend defends half. a youtuber following the recent allegations now people are memeing this response saying wait what does she mean by half 
half and we got Walter White with a cell phone. Only half. The smile of an empty vessel. All right, so basically it's too vague yeah. to actually say anything. His ex-girlfriend came out too saying that she's been silent for years and vaguely saying that we need to protect women from people like that. She doesn't actually mention Jimmy's name, but take that as you will. Now moving on, Rosanna also posted a video about Mr. Beast's leaked document, which showcases some of his work culture. On to page 17, own your mistakes. I recently purchased some items from Timu and I oh was my very god, by the bro, quality, what the so fuck? Let me show you. Timo ads? Are you this serious? This is coming from Jimmy, someone who has never owned his Bro. mistakes, never taken accountability, and never apologized <laughs> for any of his poor behavior. I hate excuses and despise with my entire soul when people just try to save face instead of learn from how they've messed up. Pull all-nighters weeks before the shoot so you don't have to days before the shoot. If you planned with adequate time, preparation, and staff, your staff wouldn't have to be doing all-nighters. Never do anything that can make us look bad from a PR perspective. <laughs> we don't fake things. The absolute delusion. Yes, you do, Jimmy. You pick the best company in America to do it at. The delusion. I would love to see the benefits of the best company in America. From what I'm hearing, you don't even like people taking holidays off, such as Christmas. This sounds like the worst <sighs> company to work for in America to me. This isn't a stepping stone. This is your final destination. You would think that Mr. Beast actually paid someone to write something like this, but it really sounds like he wrote it in his <laughs> voice here, which is kind of funny. It really depends how yeah. he implements these rules and how strictly he follows follows these guidelines like is he actually working people to the bone but let me know what you guys think in the comments below now there's also a situation with ava chris tyson's partner irit defending chris tyson in a situation partner. regarding a potential sa victim named jess now if you want more Oof. details regarding that you can check out exate's video on it ava chris tyson's current oh, partner Sam? is alleging that mr beast and his investors are trying to keep everyone quiet uh, what so i strongly suggest that you wake the fuck up. That could kind of work. Wake the fuck up! Wait, I've seen. I have seen wake it. Wake the fuck up this morning. Wake the fuck up! Wait, low key, both of them kind of good. I'll bookmark them. Could work as a sound effect. All right. Second one better. True. I could add both of but Yeah, I guess second one. Um, Jackbox. Or meme it. Are we all down to play some? What about you, Sabin? Did something happen? <laughs> Bro got stolen. I don't know. You need to sleep. All right, chop some trees.
Yeah, some probably have, but he's AFK. His father, I don't know. Oh, lurk, unlurk. Something happened. Oh, you went to eat. Oh, my bad. Are you down to play uh, Jackbox or meme it? Yeah, sure. No. Oh, you gotta roast your ops. Okay, let me know when you're ready. Not mess up. This time was embarrassing. Yeah, how did that even happen? Okay, so we'll put food over here. So that was made. Hmm. Just corpses over here. No, food as well? But, uh, raw food. So, them rocks perfectly. They didn't make memes. Wait, what? Oh, this side plays music. I mean, you can mute the music if you don't want the music. All right. Uh, I thought we we're doing meme it, not Jackbox. Yeah. Or make it meme. Maybe set game make it meme. It's not jab box though. It doesn't work for you. Wait, what? Sporti ennustuses on sageli nagu sportis endaski. Üllatad vahel ise ennaske. Toni Pett, siin et mängida. El Sports Bombit Facts. Oh, it's already five. All right. There's the link. Uh. 
spam is in. Save as well. Alright. Let's go. Loading game. Oh. Almost scared me. Not in. Wait, what? You're not in? Let's say three people in. After I have four hours of sleep, but still have to show up on my stream. I'm tired, boss. I mean, you don't have to show up. Oh well. You ain't aside. When I'm live and when I'm not live. Alright. Let's do it again. Spordiennustuses on sageli nagu spordis endaski. Üllatad vahel ise ennaske. Toni Pett, siin et mängida. Could we join mid-game spam? We need an L Sports pump. L Sports bomb it. Sound effects. Uh, spam is in Sabin. Alright. This is kind of dumb, but it's kind of funny. 45 seconds. The millisecond a bot joins. A millisecond. Okay, get in. Yeah. Banned. Twitch bots, us, the mods, Mark, and the rest of the community. <laughs> like, those are pretty much the same thing. 
What if you wanted to go to heaven, but God said, no, uh Oh, no. Alright, fair, fair. You got extra 500 for mean buddy points? What the fuck? Nah, y'all cheating, bro. Where's my mean buddy points? Nah, bro. This is kind of dumb, but it's, it's kind of funny. Twenty seconds. Scientists, ah, that's hot. The sun, that's real hot. <laughs> Bro is dead. <laughs> That shit zooms in in your eyes, you're cooked. Me when I can't ban bots before spam. Reality is often disappointing. Yo. Mark's career. Me and Sabin and Chemical and all other chads. Fall. Fall? I don't get it. We <clears throat> extra five points. I mean, viewers. Oh, I mean, true, yeah. But I really couldn't get it. Hey, Manuel. How was your stream? Was not expecting you to sound like that. In a good way though. Um... I don't, mm, yeah, mm. fuck it. My internet when you get invested and interested, it's like, it happens. Good, hey. I don't know this movie, you sound like that girl from the GTA 5 roleplay. Nah, like you actually, like your typing is bad, but your English is actually good. Mark when Bonnie jumped his ass for the 100th time. I don't know. Yeah? You did not sound like a girl to me. Me in real life, me in the internet. 
<laughs> yeah. That's facts. You need to fi uh, focus on your spelling, though, Manuel. Spelling or whatever you're typing. That's not. You need to fix focus on that. All right, fair, fair. Then voice like GTA if I role play. Oh, last place. That is what it is. Save it first, spam second. Rejoin, it kicked you for a second. Oof. Big Brooklyn. I need to you up meme now. What? You you want to join make it meme? What do you mean? Are we going again or? Uh, oh, he said yeah. Okay, restart. Add. Spordiennustuses on sageli nagu spordis endaski. Üllatad vahel ise ennaske. Toni Pett, siin et mängida. Alright, there's the link. Make it meme. L Sports bomb it. Facts. All right, Sabin is here. We might just start before manual joins. We might have to reset. Can we do have at least players to start? No. Connection. Um, I don't know. The game will start itself. We might have to refresh. Uncheck the auto start. Where is that? Oh, disable. Wait, what is... I know. Taking a while. There you go. Guess that's all. All right. Start the game. And Sabin, me after raging very hard after the. <laughs> if 
process the new view. <laughs> it's just a game, bro. Tell me true though. My plan, but the execution. Right, you got it all figured it out, but the execution is dog shit. When I don't tee up, when I tee up on games. What is a tee up? <laughs> I don't get it, bro. What's a tee up? Me eating and then hearing Mark say the most foul shit. No to man, so. <laughs> That's not an actual thing. T up meaning. Oh, it's a slang. Tighten up. Tighten up. Don't tighten up. I still don't get it. <laughs> He got buddy bonus from my buddy bonus. Bruh. Maybe lock in would be better than tighten up, but I. Um. I guess. So you've been having 666? Wait, what? <laughs> Newcomers, um, what you got there? Mark on character AI being horny. The mods. A uh, smoothie. I, I guess. Nah, I should have put in meh. Oh well. When people lies about something, when emo people say keep it real, dumb. I mean, yeah, <laughs> dumb people be like. Me when I see a fellow Brock Burger member. Yo. Sure. <laughs> How it feels to play Jackbox and switch to Twitch at the same time on mobile. I guess, yeah. I would imagine. Wait, I am a buddy. Hey, right, let's get it. <laughs> I lost three. My bad.
Is that how you spell it? I don't fucking know. Sure. When people be uncomfortable each other. I mean, yeah, that's facts. Old chemical structure, <laughs> more modern chemical changing. Yeah, I, sure. It did change for the better. Mark after people calling him dyslexic. Am I disabled? I don't know. I had to do it. I had to do it to myself. Me and Sabin and Mark and others. The thing that shows the future, it's blank. How can you give a point and a dislike? Interesting. Six six six. What? Man, bro. Man, bro. Insane. I'm in 666. Saving first, spam second, me third, manual fourth. Well, it is what it is. I want to play some Jackbox though. You down to play a Jackbox manual or no? So good at making meme. Yeah. Nah. Uh, fair enough. What? Why am I hearing myself? What? Why am I hearing myself? You ugly bitch. What? Why am I hearing myself? You ugly bitch. What? Nah, you're ugly. What are you, you talking bitch. about? Nah, you're ugly. What are you, you talking bro, about? Bro, look at yourself. Nah, you're ugly. What are you, what are you on bro, about, look bro? Look at yourself. Nah, you're ugly. What are you, what are you on bro, about, look bro? Look at yourself. <laughs> you calling you me on ugly? On oh wow. <laughs> you calling you me ugly? Oh wow. What a loser. You calling me ugly? Oh wow. What a loser. You calling me ugly? What a loser. How about you go to bed and uh, shut the fuck up? How about you go to bed and uh, shut the fuck up? How about you go to bed and uh, Oh, me go to bed. It's past your bed, me go to bed. You should go to bed. It's past your bed, me go to bed. You should go to bed. It's your bed, me go to bed. You should go to bed. Shut up, man. Shut up, man. Shut up, man. You shut up. That's right. Show them who's boss. I'll stop. All right, voting time. <laughs> I'm so speed, isn't it? Apparently, SpongeBob and Mr. Crab. Yeah, that was pretty good. Murder. All right, murder it is. I didn't even plan to do the whole talking to myself thing. That just happened somehow. But I. Uh, it is that deep? Fuck. What? Wake the fuck up. Sound effects. Yes, I'm doing it off stream, man. I'm making that a thing. Just saying, fair. I 
Alright. We've got Spam, Sabin. I guess that's all. Anyone else? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Snooze, you lose. This is your wake-up call. Prepare to die. No. Welcome to Trivia Murder Party. That glowing review in Real Hotels <clears throat> Magazine was a fake luring you here to fight for your life. It's Only one day. of you will survive. Bye. I know that's a lot of pressure, but just try to have fun. Okay, first question. What do you call a baby born on Spam weekday? Spam is a nerd. <laughs> Alright. Use your device to answer the question. Fuck is a leap day. <laughs> and the correct answer is... Oh. Who got the question right? That sounded the most realistic. The rest of you, I want to show you something. Sabin, you should join the audience. Welcome to room 101. <laughs> Are you ready to fall? Man, In love with my new mini game? Yeah, audience is chill. You're going to drop down this floor Ooh, and try to avoid my pecking the today? death zones. I'll stop. You know what? We need some Pulse. death zones. Hey, you. Pick the landing slots okay. that kill. Mm, I'm gonna go with that. Okay. Okay. Let the games begin. Pick a spot. Uh oh. It's spam. so hard to predict what will happen. Oh wow. Oh, I am filled with rage about the whole nobody dying thing. Fair enough. No one gets pegged. This elevator is going up, regardless of whether your score is. You literally can't spectate. What do you mean? Put in the code. Q A D X. Let's try another one. What does Amy Sedaris play on Bojack you Horseman? Can. Amy, what? Who? <laughs> I don't know, bro. Time's almost up. Who picked this? <laughs> Everyone it's your wrong. mother. Okay. Follow me. Yeah, you got me, bro. Welcome back to the killing room. Should have gone with cat. Ah, the lost Curious. art of letter writing. Oh, I'm cooked. I'm, I'm the worst at this. I'm going to a message to you. Write at least forty percent of the words I say. Oh, we're all dead. <laughs> we're all dead. <laughs> okay, starting letter now. Dear person who was behind me in line at the coffee shop, I am sorry you knew what you wanted, but were frustrated that I was taking a minute to decide. Some of us prefer to live in the moment. Now you will die in a moment. Look out your window. Time's up. Oh no, I sold so okay, bad. No, no, I sold so bad. Yeah, I'm and dead. And what's the result? 12%. Nine. That was Seven. not good enough. You got so close. <laughs> Told you we're all cooked. Ah, oh, crap. You all died too early. Bummer. I sold heavy. Hey, though. wake up. You were having a horrible dream where you died before oh, getting yeah. to the final round. True. That won't happen again. That was just a it's dream. It's time for the next question. Oh, boy. What year was Kylie Jenner born? Kylie Jenner. I don't care about him. The fuck? Uh, I don't know. Rug Burger. <laughs> Who picked this? Shit, my ass. <laughs> Everyone is wrong. It's time. 
don't care about the Kardashians. Congrats! All of you are entered in my scratch ticket giveaway. Uh oh. Scratch and find three dollar signs to live. And if you keep scratching, I'll give you cash for all the extra dollar signs you find. But if you scratch off even one skull, you die. Gamba time. Get to scratching. It might be fun to press your luck. If you have a losing <laughs> ticket, come We're with me. Die. <laughs> We're bad at gambling. I'm not saving you again just to help you get to the final round. This time, you're dead. Oh, this time you're dead. Oh, wow. This time you're dead. <laughs> it's not a dream anymore. Alright, let's go again. That was... No? Guess? Welcome to Trivia Murder Party. Isn't it weird how you the pyrotechnic froze the entire hotel for hundreds of Eggs? years and just thought it out yesterday? Well... I hope you like Marie Kondo references. We're more She's than a juniors. Thing, right? What is that? First question. Which of these is a Netflix original series? Use your device to answer the question. I have no clue. And the correct answer is... Who got the question right? Bridgerton. The rest of you. Yeah, bro, we're come with X me. I V. Whatever the fuck that is. Welcome to the killing room. It's my own favorite chalices. You're starting soon. I've given each safe what? player a poison pellet. Pick a chalice to drop your poison in. I just realized my music is playing. Now it's your turn to play. Pick a chalice um. to drink from. This poison, like all poison, will kill you. Ah, that's the good stuff. Now let's see what everyone drank. We drink the same one. No one? Well, that sucks. That is not cool. Oh, it's 16? Damn. Let's keep moving. Which language uses a Cyrillic alphabet? Uh. Listen, combined. <laughs> I feel like I should know this. Time's running up. Who picked? Fuck. This. I was a Greek or Russian. The rest of you. Time for consequences. Music in Greek or Russian sounded familiar. Welcome to room 217. Oh, well. It's tattoo time. Oh boy. Give me a new tattoo by drawing on your device. No. Ah. Bring it. My dad. Oh. 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 Honestly, I've never looked better. Now vote for your favorite tat. Favorite tat. The artist with the fewest votes will die. <laughs> what did we decide? Hey, gotta go with madness. <sighs> This ink has got to go. Time for a little kind of scuffed back. Brag. Surprise! Remember, dead players are still players, just more see through. Keep playing, and you just might steal someone else's life force and win the game. Both bad. Fair. Let's try another one. Which Muppet plays the drums? Mm. 
no call. Who picked this? Animal. <laughs> it's a Muppet <laughs> called Everyone Animal. Wrong. I want to show you something. Of course. This one lets you protect yourself with the password. Uh oh. Enter a real four-letter word with your device. Make it hard to guess. If your password gets cracked, you... Now your nemesis will crack the passwords. Let's see. Guess either password on your device. You get a clue if your guess has a letter in the right spot. We cooked. Start guessing! Uh-oh. Uh oh. I'm cooked. Uh, da, 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 da. Oh, I might be good. Time's almost up. Ooh, I'm good. We're good. I thought everyone was good fans, at hacking passwords fans. these days, but I guess I was right. wrong. You're banned. Not really the uh, word banned. We're here. Yeah, banned when one is player like, is left alive, yeah. we'll go to the final round. Next question. Music or some shit. Music band. Who fought Muhammad Ali in the Thrilla in Manila? I don't know. <laughs> I just want to go for Mike Tyson. I don't see him. Uh, Brug Burger. Almost out of time. <laughs> Who picked this? It's your mama. <laughs> Everyone is wrong. It's time. Time to get out the dice. Don't worry. Oh, this no. one's real straightforward. More the gambling. Who rolls the highest will die. But we've got some help to make this more interesting. You have an extra die that you can give to whoever you want to make their odds worse. Time to roll. Of course. The player with the highest total <sighs> dies. Someone's feeling the bad luck. Man, bruh, that extra dice. Are you serious right now, bro? Only one of you is still Bro, alive. I'm a ghost and I got zero bucks on my name. You know what that means. <laughs> I suck at this game. Glad to see you're the one to make it here alive. But will you be the one to escape? I'm going to give you a category. Actual seasons of Survivor. Tap each answer that fits the category and then press submit. Let's see the right answers. You move forward one space for each correct answer. You're on your way to escaping. Oh wait, did you think it was going to be just you? Aw, that's cute. If a ghost catches you, they'll steal your life force. Then they can try to escape and win the game. Here's everyone's next question. And ghosts get a third choice to help them catch up to you. Time is almost up. Wait, we had it before. Ugh, I gotta get some harder questions. Die by beheading. Really? I have no clue. R.I.P. Maria. Brug Burger. Here come the ghosts! Crayola crayon shades of brown.
Don't fall behind. Here comes the darkness. Dating apps. Hinge is a dating app. Don't look back because there's a ghost right there. Spooky. They weren't in South Africa. I don't know any of them. Bro. Time is almost up. <laughs> Shit. Animals in animal farm. Napoleon? What? Napoleon was act. You cannot run that ghost forever. He has a star on the Hollywood Walk of Fame. These questions, man. Toilet paper brands. This literally could be any, because we're not in America. Time is burger. The darkness approaches. Clouds. Clouds. What? Ultra cum mullus. Ah, uh, that wasn't a cloud. That's sad. Don't stole your life force. Oh wait, we're dead. <laughs> Lights out for you. Now there's no way Time's saving one. Bro, what? Douglas Fair? What kind is that? Enemy. Good run for you, yeah. You did good. Rui Kondo's rules of tidy. Close to the exit. Real close. We do guess, yeah. Quick guess. Fuck it. Um. Find around in the shade. Wait, what? What do you mean? Agents, the break room Any. refrigerator will be cleaned out on Friday. Final shit. Please remove all personal Get three. You weren't close enough to get that. Lunch containers and the frozen You were too far away. Thank you. You had to be closer to get three. Oh no, game is game. We've used these two tiny surveillance microphones hundreds of times. See so you swallow this one. Okay. All right, that's all. And what about the other one? Three. That two, one's a suppository. One. Or wait. Game is game well, is crazy. Well, I played all the Tetris I can stand for the next few days. The only thing left to do? No, not switch Max to Dr. Mario. Is a Take all the course. info your government has collected on its citizens and use it to play Probably, a little yeah. game I like to call... Gespionage! <laughs> Now let's administer some fun. Who's up first? Nice, Saban. What should I search for in the old Surveillance Pro next? Ooh, I know. Chainsaws. What percentage of people have used chainsaws? Hmm. Give me your best guess. You get more points the closer you come to the actual percentage. Got it. 67%. I feel like okay, less. Time to guess if the actual percentage is higher or lower. Surely. Yeah. Breathe it in. 
lower a I mean, city of life is and huge. The correct answer right. is. Yeah. Thirty-nine percent. Like what half about less. Juggling chainsaws. Does that count? Because that's actual, my experience. What? Bro, city of life is huge. Who said lower? Here's some points. Who would have guessed twenty? Next I probably would have guessed somewhere like forty. Or 30, oh, here's one we've somewhere. been especially interested in. Don't ask why. What? Crackers. When eating crackers with super chili, what percentage of people crumble their crackers into the bowl? What? So you have even more crackers. Huh. I mean, this is global. Don't get excited. 15%. Okay, higher or lower? Um, I'll say higher. Well, just a little bit higher. Again. Now let's get to the right answer. What? You weren't within thirty percent, so no points for you. How? Let's see who got it right. And why? Nice why would you just I crumple shit down the crackers in your dip or whatever the fuck? Okay, who's what? up next? Breathe it in. Ooh, I remember seeing good surveillance for this yesterday. Chips, but crackers. Chips. No, crumbled chips in the sauce. Oh, no. Own wigs? Of any kind. You could have Halloween wigs, too. Or some shit. Fuck, I don't know. It's any kind. Anytime now. I don't know. 59%. Everyone else, higher or lower? Any kind. My dad. Oh, okay, Down. let's see the right answer. Fuck. 28%? I wonder if Merkins count. I sold. See why not. <sighs> Who got it right? Ooh, points for you. I'm not saying can. I literally said Halloween, my one. brother. Yeah, everyone who got, uh, who, who, uh, uh, uh has, uh, find out. in Halloween has cancer. I butchered so much. Okay, who's first? Uh, I don't know. How about... <laughs> Area 51. What percentage of people believe that alien experiments have been performed by the U.S. government at Area 51? Mm-hmm. Hell yeah, brother. Okay, we have a guess. Sixty-three percent. In round uh, two, you can now guess much higher or much lower. Pick one of those if you think the answer is off by fifteen percent or more. If you're correct, you're mama's little angel. You get double the points. Okay, I'm gonna do that. Hi, Dad. Everyone is saying lower, and Surveil says forty-four yes. percent. Uh oh. They're Extra obvious. points. Let's see who got it right. Nice job. I've got some points for you. Yes, sir. And what have we here? Good job. I needed Double those. Double points for saying much lower. Harder. What? Hi, Dad. What are you on about? Okay, searching for non-Kentucky Derbies. Kentucky. What percentage of people have attended a roller derby match? Thirty-nine percent. What do y'all think? Higher or lower? I'm gonna say lower. Never it's have I ever heard again. of it. And the correct answer is. Oh wow. Percent. Guess you gotta Whoa. do something when there's no tractor pull. Show me double them. Who got it right? Well done. You get points. Next up. Breathe it in. Breathe it I'm in. I'm going to search for... Movie aliens. Within percent, what yeah. percentage of people prefer Predator over Alien? Uh, 80p. 
Um. You're almost out of time. I don't know. Like sixty-two percent. Everyone else, higher or lower? Foolish. Many. Looks like an even split. Okay, let's see the right answer. 52%. It's the wise choice. No points for both of y'all. You know, sort of. Ugh, I'm sorry. That answer was closer than 15%. Shouldn't have doubled down. It was low. It wasn't low. I guess. It's time for the final round. Through sophisticated population profiling, we found the most popular answers to this question. Who's the funniest British comedian? British. You are the most popular answer. I think I know a name. But choose carefully. Only the three most popular answers are worth points. Ready? Go! I don't know, I sold, I sold. Let's see what answers you chose. Yeah, I have no idea. And what are the most popular answers? Yeah, I sold. Oh, GG. Now let's see those final scores. Case weight everything. Yeah, I know, bro. First pl Hey. Hey, you're Come aware. on, bro. Tell you what, no yeah, you ate everything. For the next three years. There's nothing in the fridge, bro. Case already ate it. First place. Oh, shit. I was not expecting that. Bro kept looking, yeah. Like it would just magically appear. What are we rating? I don't know. Let's see. Um ATP Poseidon or let's just try someone new. Let's see new. What? Oh. What? I'm not hearing audio. Oh. Сказал бы на моем месте Тарас Бульба об это ничье. Ты только русский, бля. Сколько всего из вариантов выбран? Оса. Почему я на чертаже сзади? Well, got a sound I don't board. know. I didn't really think about it. <laughs> My graspy, grapply hands did not steal. And the sadness overcome. Um, sadness overcome? We've got... Bro was we British. Do got a 0% fake friends. Thanks. Go. Hey, what's up, pussy? Hey, what's up, pussy? Who you calling pussy? This my block, huh? Calling pussy. This my block, huh? Nah, you shut up. Cut? Yeah. <laughs> Thank. <laughs> Did you do something. Do what? Do what? Do what? You moron! You moron! Who you calling moron? Who you call him moron? Drug <laughs> burger. Moron. Not me. You moron! Not me. You moron! You moron! <laughs> you moron! You moron! Let that dude call you a pussy. Man, I don't know, man. Fuck him. This does not be. You better stop! Not English. Not English. Ready? 
I feel bad, but I still beat you on here at least. Yeah. Who kid is this, bro? Oh hell no. Okay, make someone happy. Tits. <laughs> Look, it plays. I thought that was, um... <laughs> you know, I'll stay quiet. Go away! Where are they? <laughs> go away! There we go. What the they fuck is this? Okay, boys. Oh, well, hell thank no, you bro. For That's a very... Yeah, I'm trying to find... I'm trying to find it, but it's like all ass. Get that one. We're halfway home. Holy shit. <laughs> and I don't want the world. I always knew August was a bottom. Why is huh? the cage in my mind? I don't Bro, know. Bro, she's just playing a mogus, man. Change your category. You can't just pick the bodies, it has to make sense. Nah, no, brother, what are we doing? It's the audience. Brother, what are we doing? Oh, no, brother. Oh, no, brother. What are we doing today? Madness. Okay. What is that? Hold on. Combat. Project Nexus. None. What is this? Now I feel like I'm gonna regret it. Hard. It makes it makes it very difficult <clears throat> to get references. Who this nerd, bro? That is wonderful. Huh? Uh, what about like? No, Iceland with snow. Bro, got captions. Like, what? What the fuck? Oh no, Joe. Oh, oh no, not Joe being a bad influence. No, yeah, don't. I don't want to be a bad influence on anybody. Uh, if you need, if list. you need sleep, please get sleep. Uh, if yeah, don't let me be an influence on you. I'm good. Crinkles better. But if you are gonna stay up, you should um, totally do some art. Hmm. That way, you can feel good about you staying up. Go look at Greenland for that. Yeah, Greenland is Greenland also pretty uh, not green. We've got ATP. But, um, Not much for the cult. Mm. No. Collision, what is that? Better than nothing? I guess. It's just a it is getting late anyway. Fuck it. As always, love all your mentors, hope you enjoyed your stay, and I'll uh, see y'all tomorrow. So, uh, peace out, and a good night. You moron! You're not that guy, pal, trust me. You're not that guy. Hey, I'm not that guy, but I am that fella. Brug Burger Raid. Two raiders from Lil Autismo 21. Hello. Uh.
How's it going, Brag Burger? Returning chatter, yeah. Hello. That's more than two people that Twitch cannot count. Jackbox party packs, yeah, boy. Underrated streamer artist. Wait, you're an artist? What kind of an artist? Love the.